Man, oh man, do I have a message for you guys today. Too many of you ignore those subtle things that you see happen and it makes you kind of like that little side eye skeptical look. You see certain things. Have you guys ever seen the behaviors of people you've dealt with in your past or you're dealing with right now and you just, you see the behavior, you see what's going on and you just, you're seeing exactly what it is, is what I'm saying. That is God showing you something, bro. That is God showing you exactly what he wants to show you. And if you're ignoring these things and just letting things go on and on and on and on and on, it will continue to happen until enough is enough. God is never going to stop showing you these things. He will forever show you these things until you break free from that particular situation with that particular person. People don't just change, bro. Your ex, he or she don't just change. It takes work. It takes sacrifices to actually change. None of us are going to change unless we put in that work. Unless we live with some self-awareness and some accountability. To understand who, who we are right now and to understand what, what we have to do to move forward to be better. Nothing changes unless you can do that and start taking the right steps so that can happen. Everything else is peanuts. You ain't never going to see nobody change, bro, unless they can get themselves to that point. And it's not even hard. It's just about doing it. Like, that's the thing. But some people, they just don't want to do it. So it seems hard. They just don't want to put in that type of work. They don't want to put in that type of effort to make that adjustment, to make those adjustments, I should say, because it's not just one. It's going to be a lot of adjustments in order to change. I've done many calls with you guys lately, and um, from what I'm seeing, bro, calls that I've done, let's say in 2021, 2022, compared to this year, I get the vibe a lot of people's waking up. There's a lot of information exposed nowadays, folks. Like, there's a lot of information. And it's only holding everybody else far more accountable. There were so many people, like, even in 2021, 22, with their heads in the clouds, not understanding anything or what's going on. But it feels to me like nowadays people have a better idea of what is going on. There's still the odd person that doesn't, which is unfortunate, but I feel a lot of people's waking up and I feel God is doing a good job. The tricky part is, is not ignoring all the signs and all the things that you see with your own two eyes and your own intuition and your own instincts. Those, those instincts you have about certain situations and people, bro, it ain't lying. All those vibes you feel... It ain't lying. It's telling you the truth. Like, animals can feel danger, bro, from other animals. They can feel those instincts. You can almost feel when there's, like, a cheetah or a tiger or a lion just stalking you. Like, you could be some innocent animal. You could be, like, a deer. You could be a water buffalo. And you can just almost sense... Something's stalking you, something, there's just this heavy, heavy pressure, and you can sense it. All those things you feel towards people, 
those bad vibes you feel, that is God showing you something that whatever you're dealing with is not right. Something is very, very wrong with what is going on. In the particular situation that you folks find yourselves in. And it should not be ignored. And if it is ignored, you are going to pay the price for ignoring that situation. And it will be presented to you time after time after time again until you finally learn. Dudes out here are going to get screwed over by women time after time after time after time again until they learn. So many dudes have to experience so many different things to the point where it's like, bro, I can't even take a woman seriously. That's how they feel. I've heard guys tell me that before. I've felt that way in my life before. Like you just can't take them seriously. Because it's the same things over and over and over and over and over again. You can see things happening before they even happen. It gets that predictable. Because women are women. So, this is God showing you something. This is God protecting you, bro. From such events. From being blindside manipulated. There's a lot of garbage going on today, man. There's a lot of garbage. There's a lot of garbage people doing a lot of garbage things. Women love to take advantage today of, of many men. They have them lined up. They're getting all the attention and validation they could possibly ask for. And they're leading guys on. They're leading guys astray. That's why you should never, ever trust a woman. You don't ever listen to a woman, bro. You don't trust them. Like, do you actually trust those girls you're talking to? You actually think that's going somewhere and there's going to be no hiccups. Oh, there's going to be hiccups. There's going to be hiccups, all right. And you're not the only one experiencing them. For those of you that are trying to get your dating life in order and you're talking to a bunch of different women and stuff like this and you're trying to get somewhere and... <sighs> there's going to be hiccup after hiccup after hiccup because there's lying going on, there's manipulation going on. And um, people are going to lie through their teeth until they get what they want. That is what is going on in the world today. A lot of people just can't be them honest, their, their honest self. It's like they need to have the edge by playing that role, by manipulating everybody else. And anybody can do it to anybody. That's the thing. You can have people way below you, bro, manipulating you, and you're way higher up than them. Value is way higher than theirs. You're way further ahead in life than them. They can still do you like that. Because anybody can manipulate anybody, regardless of who is where in levels. You could be Drake and could get manipulated by some 19, 20 year old female. And you're Drake. She is nobody. He is Drake. It's possible. So that's what you guys have to understand, man. God is showing you certain things. When you see things, when you know things ain't right, even if you're a female and you're with some dude and you just know it ain't right. He's cheating on me. He's doing this. He's doing that. There's a good chance something is going on. Is it your emotions telling you that? Do you feel that or do you know that? That is what you have to figure out. But if you have these feelings, you, you want to, you know, do your female investigation work. Figure it out. I would recommend it if you actually believe things like that is going on. That's what I would recommend. You could be wrong. You could be right. It depends on the person. But I know one thing, bro. It is very hard to manipulate a wise man or a wise woman. It is very hard. You're not going to succeed. Because those little subtle things are going to show. And you are going to expose yourself to a wise person. They've seen it before. They've been through it before. 
Whatever you're doing ain't nothing different from what they've already seen. It's the same things again. It's familiar. It almost becomes the norm. Bro, if women today start to get in their manipulative ways and start to act at a character and start to do some crazy shit, bro, that's the, that's the norm. That's the norm. You're going to see it. That's the norm today. It's not like, oh my God, I don't know what's happening. I've never seen this. Oh my God. I guarantee you, 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 you have seen it before. And you're going to see it again. Because these are just the things that's going on today in the world, man. That's what's going on. Someone you can trust is God. When he shows you those things. You want to make sure, man. You want to make sure that you're going to make the right decisions going forward. When he shows you, you know it's true. When your intuition knows, you know it's true. When you feel those vibes like there's a predator right in front of you, that's for show, sure. because you would not feel that way if there wasn't. Look how normal you can feel with other people. But when there's that person, it's like the devil is in plain sight. It's not normal. It's like hell on earth. When it comes to others, oh man, it's, it's just like, it's nothing but peace and, and tranquility and freedom and just the best vibes. But when it comes to those people that you guys deal with that I, that I coach you through, bro, you guys be telling me things for about a minute on the phone and I'm already like, yep, I know exactly what, you, what you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. And it's not something you want to stick around for. And for some of you, it is hard to hear it. It's not that you're not aware. That's the thing. There's one thing of not being aware. And there's one thing of being aware, but you still choose to deal with it. That is better. It's not great, but it's better than being not self-aware and dealing with it. Rather than being self-aware and dealing with it, because at least you're aware this ain't right. That's very important. Because if you're unself-aware and those things is happening, it's going to destroy you, my guy. It's going to destroy you. It's going to eat you inside and out and spit you out. And uh, I believe none of us are going to have life easy. I believe we, we all get tested. Look at the duration of your life and the women you've dealt with, bro. You're all going to get tested. We are all going to get tested. Our strength, our resiliency. Nothing's going to come just like this and it's going to be peaches and cream. You guys are not going to go through that. I have not gone through that. It's going to be rocky roads. You're going to have to feel some emotional pain. It's going to be painful. You're going to have to experience it. Because it's happening. And God is going to test you. He's going to test your will. He's going to test your determination. And he's going to see what you're made of. He wants to position you to the point where you probably have felt some emotional pain in the past from certain things you've been through. But when the same things pop up, it's not the same story anymore. You can, you can experience the things you once did, and it's not having the same effect. That is a green light, my brothers and sisters. You have grown exponentially. You are far stronger than you used to be. You are far wiser, far more experienced, and far more durable than you used to be. So if this is resonating with you guys, I want you guys to all give yourself a clap on the back right now. 
because you are very much so a lot further ahead than majority of people in this world when it comes to these types of things. You pretty much can't be manipulated. Like on a deep level. Somebody might be able to manipulate you in like a small way or something like this, but on a deep level, bro, they can't get you like that. They can't really get you. But if you're not self-aware, they can really get you by. I've got gotten before. Y'all have probably got gotten before. We all got got. They got us. They burned us bad, man. Completely blindsided us. Made us believe everything and they're so amazing of a person and everything like this, all of a sudden you're left out on skates. And frozen in an iceberg like Sid the Sloth off Ice Age. Just frozen like glass right in your tracks. Not no more. Can't get you no more. That is a blessing. If you guys are at that point, clap yourselves in the back, man. Give yourself a pat in the back. Make it loud. It's a celebration. Let's all have a drink. No alcohol either. Just a beverage, just your water. I'm drinking a green tea in a cup. I've been feeling that lately, I, I, I don't know why. Um, maybe it's the time of year, I'm not sure. But it's important to keep yourselves protected at all times, God is there with you. God is there for you. He's going to show you what you need to be shown. He's not going to fail you on that part. But it is about you learning in life, you being self-aware, and being able to manage the things that are going on and the things that you will face. And we all have to learn. Life is painful. We have to go through the pain in order to grow. Pain equals growth. No pain equals even more pain. You're going to feel pain. We're all going to feel pain, bro. On an emotional level, on a spiritual level, on a physical level, on a mental level. We're all going to feel pain. It's coming for us. There's no way to avoid it. But there is a solution. We continue to learn. We continue to grow. We continue to go through the pain. That makes everything else a lot less painful. But we're already experiencing pain because of what we put ourselves through. And after this, I'm about to eat a small-ish meal, high in protein, a little bit of carbs. And I'm about to go to the gym and put myself through it. That's what I'm saying, bro. We have to put ourselves through some pain, through some discomfort, pushing. We need, we need resistance. We need pressure. We need to go through things. We need to feel. We, like If you're not feeling anything and you just want to be stagnant and just think life is going to be happy and it's going to come for you and just everything's going to be so amazing when you're not doing anything, think again because you're in for a world of hurt and a world of pain from your stagnance in life. That's going to cripple you more than anything else. And it's going to be constant pain that you're not going to be able to face. Do not put yourself in that hole. You have to get up and you have to fight for what's right. And that's your life. The only guaranteed life you have, you have to fight for it. So I hope this video could resonate. You guys have to really understand that God is with you, whether you think so or not, he is. It's up to you if you're going to listen and apply to what he's saying, to what he's trying to do for you. He's trying to do everything for you. You just have to listen. You have to listen and you have to be present. And there's nothing to fear. Try new things, do new things, put yourself out there, stop being trapped. Stop living in a, such a small little box and just expecting to sit there and everything just be wonderful. You have to get out there. You have to do things. 
And at the end of the day, in doing it, you will be the best version of yourself that can exist. And you will thank your damn self. And God, all glory to God. You give God the glory, he will give you the victory. And with that being said, God willing, God bless. We'll see y'all at the top.